to it. To welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, I'm answering question number eight from the International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P2 paper from October 2022. This question is about geometric sequences, and we're told that the geometric sequence has a first term A and a common ratio R. And we're told that given that the sum to infinity of this sequence is equal to 3a, show that r equals 2 thirds. Now, one of the things, first of all, that we should understand, okay, is that we need to know some formulae for this topic, right? There's some formula for this topic for arithmetic and for geometric sequences and series, which we should know. However, they, those are found in the formula book. Okay, so if you go to the formula book, the formula sheet, and you see, you find this section here and there, um, when you look at P2, and you find that there's arithmetic series and geometric series. Now, what we're interested in here, of course, is the geometric series, because it tells us it's a geometric sequence. Okay, and we know that um, here, the sum to infinity equals A over 1 minus R. So that's what we're going to be dealing with. We know that the sum to infinity is equal to a over 1 minus r right so there's two ways we can actually handle this question the most uh, common and, and probably the better way is to substitute instead of the sum to infinity 3a okay and show that basically r becomes two thirds by doing that so if we do if we do this we're going to have 3a equals a over 1 minus r if we rearrange this to make A the subject, uh, R the subject, sorry, what we can do is we can cross multiply here. So you have 1 minus R equals A over 3A, and the A's cancel. So you're left with 1 minus R is equal to 1 third. And so therefore we can say that if we add R to both sides and subtract 1 third, we have 1 minus 1 third equals R. So therefore we can say that R is equal to 2 thirds. 1 minus a third is 2 thirds. Okay, that's probably the best way of answering this question. Now, a lot of students, what they do is they use what's called the verification method, where they basically uh, substitute R for 2 thirds and show that what comes out is 3, 3 A. So let's say when R equals 2 thirds, you have A over 1 minus 2 thirds, okay, which gives you, you'll have a, the sum to infinity is equal to a over 1 minus 2 thirds. So it's the sum to infinity is equal to a over 1 third. So the sum to infinity is equal to 3a. Okay, so, you know, basically that proves, okay, that proves that, um, you know, r must be 2 thirds for this to be, three, to, to be 3 a's. But you have to, if you do this, leaving it like that is not enough. If you look at the, the mark schemes and the, you look at the uh, examiner's reports, you will definitely lose a mark if you leave it like this. All right? Here you have to make a little statement, even though it doesn't really say much. Say, hence, okay, R must be equal to two thirds. Okay? Because you, you must write that down. You must write that same statement down. Okay, because when you put two thirds inside the formula, you get out three a. Hence, r must be two thirds for this to be to become three a. All right. So you should write this statement down if you're going to use this. What's called the verification method. Okay, both methods are perfectly fine. I would prefer to stick to this method, but that's fine if you write that at the end. You get the marks for it. Okay. Part B says, given also that u two minus u four equals sixteen. So we might need some of these formulas again here. So I'll bring this down. Okay, and we also know from this question that R is equal to two thirds. They told us that. And we know that the sum to infinity is equal to 3a. Those are the information that we know from before. All right, so it says, given also that u2 minus u4 equals 16, where uk is the kth term of the sequence, kind of like the nth term of the sequence, find the value of S10, giving your answer to one decimal place. So we need to use the sum formula. Okay, we need to know what R is, which we know. But what we need to do is we need to find what A is. Okay, because if I know what, if I know N is 10, N is 10, okay, I know R is 2 thirds. What we need to do is we need to find what A is. Okay, for us to, to use this formula, we have to use 
we'll find what a is the first term of the sequence so we're going to use this little uh, information here to to find it so u2 means the second term of the sequence okay so we know that un uh, they give, give us the formula is a a to the power of r minus one a to a r to the power of n minus one sorry so u2 is going to be a r squared so that means u2 is going to be a times two thirds so it's going to be that's going to be two minus one so it's going to be a times two thirds so it's two a over three that's u2 okay and u4 is a r to the power of four minus one okay a r to the power of four minus one okay so u4 is equal to um a times two thirds to the power of three so two two cubed is eight so it's eight a over three cubed 27 and we know that u2 minus u4 equals 16 so when i subtract these i get 16. so i can say that 2a over 3 minus 8a over 27 equals 16. so i can make these into equivalent fractions this is going to be times 9 times 9 so 18a over 27 minus 8a over 27 equals 16. So now I end up with that's 10a over 27 equals 16. So therefore a is equal to 16 times 27 over 10. So I have 16 times 27 divided by 10. That gives me 216 over 5. 216 over 5. which is 43.2, I can write it as 43.2, 43.2. That is the first term of the sequence. So now I know that the sum to the n terms is equal to a times 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r. Now I know a is 43.2. I know r is 2 thirds, and I know that n is equal to 10. So I can say that the sum to the first 10 terms is equal to a, which is 43.2, times 1 minus r, which is 2 thirds, to the power of 10, over 1 minus 2 thirds. Okay, so that will give me my answer, which I round to one decimal place. So I can put this, I can say the last answer, which is 43.2, times 1 minus... Let me put this in a bracket. Two thirds to the power of 10. Close that bracket. Over one minus two thirds, which is one third. And that will give us the answer, which is 127.352. 100, sorry, 127.352 equals on. So now we want to round it to one decimal place as the question states. Yep, so it's going to be 127.4. 127.4. So the sum to the first 10 terms is 127.4. And that concludes this question. Um, you know, very important for us to understand they're asking for the sum of 10 first 10 terms. They don't ask us for, you know, the 10th term. This is not asking for U10, it's asking for S10. Right, so... People mess up in this question by using the wrong formula, not understanding what they're asking for. All right, so there's the end of this question number two, number eight, sorry, from the October 2022 Pure Mathematics P2 paper from Edexcel. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from the topic of sequences and series in the playlist that will appear in this region here. Subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.